but he never mentioned sex. Sex is not exempted of it. In fact, sex is one of the exercises. Babe, 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 babe. Why are you trying to make me feel like a bad person? Huh? How? How? Are you being serious right now? You're asking me how? Okay. Okay, fine. Since sex is what you want, you want us to be having sex, no problem. I promise to be making myself available every weekend. So every weekend, I'll be giving it to you the way you want it. Is that okay? Well, well that is okay. Uh, at least it's better than nothing. Where are you going to? I want to go to bed. I have a busy day tomorrow. Please, can you mind taking me along with you? Let's go and sleep together, please. Where are you? around you. You feel the world is at your beck and call. You've always had the best things ever since we were best friends. Coincidentally, you end up having the same things that I love. It's not really getting any better. I mean, I'm experiencing a blood vision. I think I need to see an optician as a matter of urgency. Very important. You know you're a very stubborn person, right? Every day you're fixated on the front of the screen. Eh? Morning to morning. Monday to Monday. Guy, is this how you chase money? See, um, Ben, you wouldn't understand. Actually, thought this was a, I thought this was a joke. Not until this moment. See, I need to see an audition. You really need to. Very important. But I have a problem. And the problem is, who is going to sit here and manage this business while I'm out? Gerald, I, you have a wife, right? Did you see my wife? Yes. I just opened a boutique for her. Who is going to handle that to? Are you serious right now? We are talking about your health here. Yeah. Health first. Look, you need to see an optician while your wife takes charge or something. Then every other thing falls into place. Oh, if you say so. Well, you have a point. Maybe I just need to consider what you say. Exactly. Look, man. <laughs> if you're gone, you're gone. Your eyes is your mirror, okay? Take care of yourself. I hate you. 
It's okay. It's over. Oh, it's not easy at all. And that is where your issue started from. I told you about my ex-wife. What did you do? Nothing. What happened? It's not that stupid woman. She has refused me seeing my kids. My own kids. What? Has it got into that? I mean, how can she do a thing like that? I don't know. What else would be the reason if not money? Eh? Look, Ben. I still believe in as much as this case is still in court. And court has given her custody of those kids. You guys can still sort this thing out. Hmm. You really don't know women. Look. The resolution is just money. Just have money and they'll reason with you. Ben, I know money is very important. But you still have a role to play in this. <laughs> All women are the same. All of them. You think so? <laughs> I know so. You did not even listen to me. Hm. You made me feel your wife was the best thing. The best thing that could ever happen to you. Gerald. <laughs> ah, I told you never to trust women. They would leave you when the chips are down. You felt like she was the best thing you ever had. I'm sorry to break the bubbles to you, Gerald. Huh. They are all the same. Why are you looking at me like that? You're a very beautiful woman. That should be coming from my husband, not you. Bernard, listen, I have said this before, and I'm saying it again. I am married. I'm a married woman. So stop harassing me. Stop it. Else I'll report you to my husband. Your blind husband, I presume. Doesn't matter. You and I know that deep down you pretend to be happy and you're not happy. Hmm? Just stop. Stop it. Don't you understand that I am married? I know. I know you're married. But hey, you and I know that your husband doesn't give you the maximum satisfaction that I will give to you. Look, he is handicapped. He can help you. And hey, Bernard is here, waiting anytime, any day. No, no. Please, not here. 
Hey. I can't believe I'm doing this. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, relax. Okay, can't you enjoy it? Oh, yeah, I'm about to... And come to think of it, I'm not even financially stable as you are. <laughs> and yet, I have your so-called high horse wife. Uh, yeah, um, am I about the business I told you about? Yes, you'd say something like that. Uh, that was last week. So, tell me about it. I, um... I'd need to lend you some money. So, how much are we talking about here? Because you know, you're not the only person that I have assisted and still assisting. That at the end of the day, I won't even see my money. Um, two million would do. Two million. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Oh, I forgot to tell you that my wedding is coming up in two months' time. And it's tied with so much expenses. Wait, wedding? Um, with who? With Lavender, of course. Laven Lavender? Lavender? Sure. Um, uh, Lavender, is not the lady you introduced to me at the bar? Yes, of course, it's her. Oh. So, see what I'm going to do, eh? Mm. I'm going to give you 500000 mm. Not borrow, but dash. And that is what I can do for you, for now. Mm. Oh my word. All because of sex. Good sex. I have her all to myself. Gerald, I repeat it again. Women are all the same when the chips are down. They will leave you at the easiest snap. I'm so sorry, my friend. <laughs> oh, Gerald. Mm. Everything. Ma, the whole thing came out to be 92,000 naira. Only. 92,000 naira. Only. Where would you add only to that amount? How much is your salary? Ma? Ma? I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. It's because I cook and I feed you and, and, and that security man for food. You're not paying me. So I don't blame you. Why won't you add only to 92,000 naira? Sorry for yourself. Look, Jonathan, make sure you buy the items that I listed. Yes. If you like, lost the money. I'll use your salary to replace it. I'm so sorry. <coughs> and why are you putting on Mufti? Where's your uniform? Ma? I'll send you. I'll send you. We had better. I'll be careful. Me see driver walk. Yeah? I go do this one, I go do that one. Buy pepper, buy tomato. Yeah? I don't even feel rest. Leave me, leave me, forget that thing. Don't start. 
Yes, I do. Where you did go now? Madam, they sent me somewhere down there. I'm not with it on that side. Yes, yeah, go, I can, I, 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 I go. Yes, I go. I don't say I go buy something there. Now come, we go. Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah, that would do. Beatrice, 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 baby. Enter, enter. This is where we fit you. If you not make a day, make you come down from this car. This is where we fit you. What do you mean? Jonathan back from the market. No, madam never come back. He hasn't come back. Yes, madam. Hmm. Let it not be that he has gone around chasing all those estate little girls with that car. Meanwhile, when he gets back, tell him to pass through the back door and he should drop the food items in the kitchen. And also, go and check who's hanging at the gate. Madam, he be saying I am. My friend, go and open the gate. Madam, now go away now. Ah, open the gate. In Pantabro, she will. Me, you drop me for this place because my working place near this place. I don't want me, my madam. See, see, here, they come down from Manka. <laughs> now, my number now, I give you to you go call me. Uh, you call me uh. Oh, well, I will call you. Maybe oh, anything. Uh, hmm? No, for Kato. Oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> eh? Are you really fam? No, now, I could be that kind. Eh? I'll say, make a ask you. Understand? Because me, self, that day, madam, been the. But she, I know, I know too like her. I know too like her. Nah, wrong story. One day, one day, I go call you. Make I, I go, I go call you for phone. I go tell you the thing. Uh, oh, well. Yes, ma'am. No, I don't know. No, I don't even forget my 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 mark for inside your wood. Wait, wait, my go collect that. My good friend, um, I have to run along. So soon? Mm -hmm. So soon. Oh, I appreciate that the food that you brought for me. That's so thoughtful of you. It's the least I could do for a friend. Thank you so much. Ben, I really appreciate you coming around and I hope to see you so soon. Uh, soon, soon, my friend. Baby! Baby, are you here? Yes, dear, I'm here. Okay. Could you please kindly see Mr. Ben off? Okay, sure. Thank you. So, Ben, I'll see you again. No problem. Thanks for coming. I will always come around. Hey, uh -huh. hey, it's a bit of a bedroom. 
my bedroom. Mm -hmm. Babe, that's too extreme. This is my matrimonial bedroom. What difference does it make? I mean, your husband is in the sitting room listening to music. Um, this is not the first time we have been to your house. I mean, you could as well have it in your room. There's a big difference. Let's have it in the guest room. Look, I know my husband is blind, but he's very sensitive and intelligent too. The guest room is close to the living room. You might hear funny sounds. Hmm? Are you sure about this? I'm very really sure. Which are you careful? Hmm? <laughs> Let's go. Is <laughs> <laughs>
Baby. Baby, I'm so sorry I left you alone in the living room. I have been looking for you. Yes, I slept off. I was really tired. Baby. Mm -hmm. Was Ben here? Ben? Yes, Mr. Bernard. I, I don't understand. He was here today to give you the drugs he ordered for you. I know. But what I'm saying is, was he here? Like, did he enter this room? Uh, no. Why do you ask? Because I can perceive his cologne. Oh, that. I mean, you know, he uses a very expensive cologne. So, maybe you perceive the fragrance of his cologne from the living room to this place. Oh. Yes. Uh, honey, why don't you, you know, come in. Why don't you rest a bit? Mm. Please help me. <clears throat> okay. Mm -hmm. Just relax. You know what? Mm -hmm. Let me get you water to drink. When I return, I will assist you in removing your clothes so you oh. can have your bath. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, just, just relax, okay? okay? I'll be back. Mm -hmm. I'll be back, okay? All right, baby. Hello, sweetheart. Don't sweetheart me. Do you know you almost got me in trouble today? But he didn't even notice I was there. Your cologne. Uh, but... Okay, but he knew I came around to visit. Well, that would have been justifiable in the sitting room, not in the bedroom. Mm, yeah, true. But find a way to sort out the mess. Well, I did, but it didn't sound convincing. Oh, well, you could use your woman power now, you know. You're a sweet woman. Just convince him, find a way, say something, okay? You know my husband too well. He's very sensitive and intelligent. Just convince him, do something. I trust you. Ah, oh, that's awesome. That's good. Uh, good night. Because they know 